Mama, I'm writing this letter laying here on my bunk. It's on my last piece of paper, too. Most everything's gone from my trunk. But I guess I'm really lucky to have anything at all after three long years cooped up behind this commie prison wall. But don't you worry about me, Mama. I'm getting along all right. But to tell the truth, I sure am itching to get back into the fight. You know, Mama, the other day, I heard the silliest rumor. It must have got its start around by a real twisted sense of humor. The rumor said, now get this, Mom, that the fighting had been stopped and that the prisoners of war from both of the sides had already done been swapped. They say it happened nearly two years ago in a place called Pan Munjong. Boy, some of these guys will start any tale and then sit back and watch the fun. But it's just a rumor. I know it's not true. Why, it's as plain as it could be. If they'd swap prisoners, as that story goes, how come they overlooked me? But say, wasn't it about that time that they throwed us in trucks and tied us? Do you reckon them scamps brought us back in these hills just to get us out of sight and hide us? Why, wouldn't it be awful if they'd reported us dead and was going to keep us here to stay? Or sent y'all word that we didn't want to come home? That we wanted the communist way? Oh, but they wouldn't try that. Not on Uncle Sam. Why, he'd tear them limb from limb. Them commies is smart right from the start. They wouldn't try to get tough with him. And say, Mama, I've wrote you every week. Not one time have I failed. But I ain't heard from you like I used to do. You been getting them letters I mailed? Well, I guess I'll sign off now and pray to God and try to sleep. And dream about how Betty and I used to hold hands and talk as we walked down the street. And Mama call Betty and tell her that the only thing that keeps me on the go is knowing that when I get off that train back there at home at the old depot, that standing waiting on the platform with maybe a tear in her eye will be the finest, most beautiful girl that ever waited for a guy. Dear Mom, Dear Mom, Prayer, prayer, wonderful prayer, your thoughts to the Lord just fly. While resting one evening by the side of the road, I saw an old farmer in the field he had just hoed. His face was brown and wrinkled by the sun and the wind, and he was talking to the Lord like he was talking to a friend. Well, sir, he said with a voice calm and quiet, these corn tassels need sacking, but got no string to tie it. Had no rain in so long that the fields is getting dusty. It's been so unbearable hot that the young'uns is mighty fussy. Why, the grass down in the pasture could be knee high. We could just have a little shower, Lord. Might keep the cow from going dry. Oh, but listen to me talking. You'd think I wasn't grateful. Why, if you didn't know me so well, Lord, you'd think I was downright hateful. You'd think I'd forgotten that new calf that you sent, and that money in the mail that took care of the rent, that Ma's cold is better, and Johnny's home from the Navy, and that good Sunday dinner of chicken and dumplings and gravy. And Lord, that new preacher you sent us is a fine young man. Why, he's converting those sinners to beat the band. Well, I guess I'll head on home now. 
Won't take no more of your time. Reckon there's lots of folks hereabouts waiting to ring your line. Well, evening to you, Lord, and watch over us tonight. And don't you worry about us, Lord. Everything's gonna be all right. Just where can make a smile out?